Hey, my name is Alan. I'm a producer and engineer here at home, and I want to talk to you all for just a couple minutes about working for spec, which is a speculative value of a future project, and why that might be a good move if you're just starting out as an engineer, producer, or any sort of uh, creative music or art person. So my own background is actually in electrical engineering, but I was so obsessed with DIY recording that over the years it took over my life. I'm now doing usually four to six sessions a week when I'm in town. What I see as a major breaking point for me going from just recording my friends or recording student projects in the Vanderbilt studio, which I happened to get to run and got to record a lot of student bands, really honing my chops over the years, was pitching to people, hey, you don't have to pay me money up front to record yourself, but just give me a certain percentage of the master ownership. If the song blows up, gets put in an ad, gets a billion streams on Spotify, kick some percent back my way for helping you out, making it sound good. I loved recording, was just doing it for fun, but what I see as the first jump to my uh, professional client, if you will, was actually a very similar situation. I was at an open mic. I happened to like the song that someone played. I was chatting with him afterwards. He said he hadn't recorded it. I offered to do it to, for him, and I, it was the first time I ever pitched to someone. It's worth knowing a little bit up front about there are different royalty streams from songs, different ownership for composition and master. So definitely uh, research that. But I pitched him. I said, hey, I would love to record your song. You don't have to pay me anything, but give me 50% of the master ownership, which is usually what I ask for still these days if I'm recording someone else's song and they're not paying me money up front. Be casual about it. Don't be too pushy about the money. You're still about making art. You want it to be a good time for everyone, especially if you're just starting out. But at the same time, for me, that's a great way to felt like when we actually went to the session, I wasn't sure how it was going to turn out. It was really just an experiment, but he ended up liking it. We ended up doing a whole EP the same way of, hey, you come in with the songs. I'm not taking any of the writer's portion, though a lot of songwriters, really their default is working for spec, where if you go into a writer's room in Nashville, the assumption is that everyone has an equal ownership of whatever the composition that comes out of that is. But eventually, it's a great way to start doing more projects like this. I personally started getting busier, and now a lot of times I'll ask for money up front, take a lesser percent of the ownership. But personally, I still like to get 5 or 10% master ownership if I'm producing a song. Just sort of, I see it as betting on myself that I want this to be a good production. I want it to go somewhere. I want to have a little bit of that long tail revenue from that. Anyways, hopefully this makes sense or is a helpful concept. If you're just starting out recording, maybe you're getting a little better at it. I mean, even if you've been making beats in your bedroom, you probably still have some value you can offer someone. And this is a good way as you're honing your craft, getting better. You're not at the point where you'd ask someone for money up front, but at the same time, Everyone is in it together, working collaboratively. If you have any questions on this or just want to chat about indie rock, hip hop, or folk music, feel free to hit me up on the home directory or on Instagram at finitealan. Peace out.